Hi everybody, Holly Clear, social media advisor, teacher, trainer, consultant, social power program. Welcome everybody. I am going to introduce to you today, Power Tribe mate, Chris Gosnell. Welcome. Hello. Hello, hello everybody. It is a special treasure to introduce my shiny pink friend to you. Um, <laughs> we were just talking I, I'm going to do it. Are you okay with do me it, singing? Do it, do it, girl. Do it. So this Beyonce song came into my mind when we were reviewing what we we're going to be talking about. And I'm like, if you like it, then you better put some pink on it. So that's my girl, Chris Cosno. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have too much fun. And if we're not having fun, we're doing it wrong. So, Amen. right? <laughs> so Today, Today's super, super powerful and impactful because we're talking about relationships and you know I actually posted just a few weeks ago a video about relationships on my wall I went live and I talked about the power of actually having relationships in social media and not only was it a topic but it was also a video which is a specialty of yours and so let's talk about what is what do relationships look like when it comes to video you know it really just comes down to being yourself letting people see you uh, not putting on a facade which is i know that that's harder for us to do as gen xers and above i understand that uh, we grew up with cameras not like in our face all the time and yeah. we always had to smile you know so you, we were taught from the very young age to put on a good face and when now that cameras are around us all the time, I mean, I'm on my cell phone right here and it, 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 we got into, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Ah, so relationship to me, it comes down to just let your hair down. Well, <laughs> whatever you have, <laughs> <laughs> and just let people see the real you because they're going to relate to that. They're not going to look down on you anymore. Gone are the mean days of high school, the mean mm -hmm. girls, you know? And if Mean Girls is still around and 45 years old, someone needs to kick them in the shins. That's oh about all my I have goodness. to say about that. So much agree with you there. <laughs> and, but we are mean girls to ourselves. You know, there's a couple gentlemen in the group, but why are we mean girls to ourselves when it comes to things like video? It goes back to, yeah, I think it just goes back to our upbringing of we have to put on this face. We have to be acceptable. We have to look right. I think that I call BS on that one seriously well and what is that even looking right like what does that even look like I mean I was sharing with you some of the challenges that I have with video and I go I mean, my entire program is video based you know and Ooh. so here I am having sharing that I have fears with video I I don't really like how I look or I don't like how I sound or ooh, I make that expression with my face <laughs> you know um, but that's all, that's all that mean girl talk. And that puts roadblocks and mind clutter in the way of us being successful. And um, I think the most powerful thing for me with video is the fact that, as, as you shared, when you're your authentic self, people get to know you and they do business with people they know, like, and trust. And the fastest way for someone to get to know you is for you to be authentically you and sharing you isms, you know, if you, um, or you say like, or you stumble over your words or stutter, that all of that is part of who you are. And if I'm going to get to know you, I'm going to see your expressions. I'm going to see your inflections and your voice. I'm not going to be able to relay that from just a social media post or an, a picture. Right. So, yeah, I so mean, true. it's so impactful right now to incorporate that. So what do, you, what do you recommend for people as far as building that relationship? What does that look like? You know, honestly, going back to why is truthfully, we are the only ones that don't know what we look like. Hmm. We have in our mind a picture and that's just fine. We look in the mirror, we see our two dimensional self right there and we don't see the 360 view. But everybody else does. Yeah. Every single other person on this planet sees you in all of your 360 glory. <laughs> and you know what? They don't recoil in terror and shriek, dear God, what is that? You know? <laughs> <laughs> but we do that to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And you just got to give it up. 
You really do. Because other people, you know, people have seen me in my pink hair. I forget that I have pink hair, to be <laughs> honest. I really do. And then I, when it's fresh done like this and I get double takes, I'm like, what are you staring at in my own head? And then I'm like, oh, oh yeah, okay, gotcha. But um, I think we just need to kind of let that go a little bit and just say, all right, I'm 45 years old. I'm never going to be 25 again, never. And be at peace with who we are. Mm. Just know that everyone else has already seen it. It's like the emperor's new clothes, except for we ain't running around buck naked. But, <laughs> you know, it's like everybody else sees the truth. We want to put on this facade, but they're like, um, no, it's okay. You can be yourself. I've already seen it. And I love it. I'm, that's my friend. That's the person I care about. Don't try to be somebody else. Mm. It's okay. So I say, yep, embrace the, the no neck, the double chin, the whatever, and just bring out the best in you, let it go. Other people have already seen it. It's not a surprise to them, okay? Let it go, let it go. Let it go. I think we should just sing the rest of the time, okay? Yes. <laughs> Movie awesome. quotes and singing. Yes. Yay. We can do this. Actually, there's a technique that I learned from a video person um, about kind of breaking the nerves. Do you have a technique that you use to break the nerves before you start video? Um. Well, I sit there for a minute and I just got to gather myself, you know, like, cause I can jump into something and I can BS my way through the beginning of it and then really pick it up. But I know I'm going to be much better if I stop for a second and just, ha, huh, like, okay, before I got on, I was like, what am I going to talk about today? Came to me quickly. All right. We're going to talk about relationship. What right about relationship and these type of ideas. And then soon enough, as soon as you were on, I was ready to go. I was already primed. It, I think it's just take a second, gather your, gather yourself, put yourself in the moment, let the nerves go, um, just kind of center yourself for a second. And I know that sounds like words don't really mean a whole lot, but it's just that whole, okay, all right, let, let the nagging whatever's go. I'm here. This is what's in front of me. I'm in the moment, in this present moment. All right. I got this. And just remind yourself, you're awesome. Come on, you're doing this for a reason. It's because you have something to say and the world needs to hear it. They need you to show up. No one else is going to be you in the world. Sorry. Oh, so far, so okay, get So true. Yeah. So true. And it's, yes, center yourself, ground yourself, just be prepared because you do, you have such a great message that needs to be shared. And you know, you can have a conversation with me about your message all day long. You know, we could sit yeah. down, we could have one-to-ones, all of that. But how powerful would it be if your message impacted someone else that you had no idea about? And that is how messages get spread virally. You know, and, and thinking about viral, it's like, oh, millions of people could possibly see it. But wow, how powerful if someone you didn't know saw your message and connected with you so deeply and on such a great level that you changed their world. You, cha so you changed something about their day. You changed something about their, their world um, because you had the courage to step outside of yourself and walk away from the main girls and close them into the closet and say, you know what? This is me. This is my message. Wow. Mm -hmm. And now true. It's like, uh, what was that Brene Brown, so, uh, something of a sort of, unless someone else is in the arena with you getting their butt kicked, they ain't got nothing to say. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Someone, so in other words, that means someone sitting on their couch watching Facebook and going, whatever, I could have done this better. Who cares what they say? They're not out there doing it with you. Truth. <laughs> exactly. And so, and so with that, um, you know, I do hear comments from people too of like, well, what if, what are, what are they going to say? What are, the, what are they going to say? I think it's value based. It really comes back to what kind of value, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. What kind of value can you give? What do you have to say? Um, I think we can think of it if we just, again, stop and prepare for a couple of minutes and just think of what do people need to hear? What am I putting on social media? What's on my uh, calendar right now that I'm putting out? What's, 
what's relevant to what's going on today? And just stop for a minute and think about it. There's got to be things you can say. Mm. And I like to, yeah, I love my technology. I really do. But to me, when it comes to taking notes, I am pen and paper. Because it, I don't know what it is. It just seems, it just seems different. I'm more prepared when I can look back on it. But then again, I'm using my phone to make the video, but my notes are over there, so I can't like go back and forth between my notes. Yeah, whatever. Well, there's something about the task of taking words yeah. with the thought that's tied to them and putting it into motion on paper that is so different than just typing on a keyboard or reciting something out loud. Um, you and I have done a series of videos together, which was an absolutely fun experience. You guys definitely should have an experience with Chris. She's an amazing, amazing coach as well. And some of the things that you taught me, because you know, I've had some challenges with, with teleprompting and green screen and, and other things. Some of the, the most important tips I learned from you had to do with documenting and outlining what you're going to be talking about and not writing yes. a script yes now I do think in scripting for whatever reason I think in full sentences and I need and I'll write them down but I'm certainly not going to turn around and read them like a script yeah you know it just it's kind of a bullet point but if there's a certain phrase I need to say that comes in I just write it down as is I yes. can always go back and change it if I need to and shorten it but it, oh gosh my mentor in video great guy by the way his name's Keith Curtis and uh He's been in production his entire adult life, and this is well over 50 years he's been in this business. And he mentioned, he's like, if you were to talk about, say a story, just tell me a story, and write it down, and then reread it, it's not going to be the same. Even if it's your own words, your own cadence, your own whatever, it's not going to be the same if you read it. Hmm. So instead, just remember what you're talking about. When I'm doing video, I like to take pieces Here's the piece that I need to, all right, got it. Put it down, look at the camera, say what I need to say. And nobody says you can't take notes and read your notes while you're doing, if you're doing a live video. Uh, you got your notes here and it might be, okay, next I'm talking about this. All right, and just keep going. You can look at your notes, no one's gonna kill you. That's the way we used to do it in the old days anyway. <laughs> yes. It's cool. Well, and, and when we get to do the live video training at the end of the series, um, I believe in December, we, I'm going to give you some tips on that as well. And, and Chris, you're going to have some also. But one of the things I do, I have a little trick because when I do live video, um, I have a, web, a webcam like I'm doing right now. Um, I have sticky notes. I put my bullet points on those sticky notes and put it right underneath where I'm viewing. Also put it on my phone. You know what? I'm, as I mentioned, I'm not a fan of just watching myself. So I'll put it there. And since I'm looking in this little guy right here, I don't have the distractions, right? Yep. So, I mean, there's all sorts of cool tools that you can use, but it's all about knowing how you want to do things. And, you know, there's a thousand different ways to map out and tell your story through live videos, through pre-recorded video. We did a series of eight videos talking about eight different parts and components of the way I serve. And, um, God, we, we had so many different ways we could do it. And even through the use of your tech and the variety of different cameras that you had set up, you were able to capture different angles of me yep. saying the exact same thing, but it made a different impact because of just the view and your eye. So, you know, if you want to go the route of getting professional video done, then I really, you know, look at Chris and talk to her about your ideas. I, I engage with her all the time on different projects of, you know, for editing and, and new things and even refreshers. And she even does program recordings where she'll come into your site, mm -hmm. your on-site location and do recordings of you hosting sessions or workshops. And, um, oh, absolutely. So it's versatile. There's so many different ways you could do things. It's just a matter of coming up with an idea that inspires you. And, you know, Chris is never the person to say, this is the cookie cutter way you must do this always because that's boring, right? That's flawed. You can't, I mean, just like the mean girl situation, you can't put baby in the corner and expect her to, to bloom and, and grow, right? You have to organically come up with ways that you want to communicate your message to the audience because then your story is authentically yours. 
Absolutely. Yeah. It's um, what you want to talk about, how you want to talk about it. How is your personality going to come out? And talking about relationship with video, you kind of let your personality come out. You know, um, thinking of people I've filmed before, some are from New York. Uh, you got that New Jersey youth guys. Yeah, sure. Youth guys. What a, I'm from the South. When I start getting a little riled up, I start with y'all and <laughs> come in with a little bit of a draw. I'm like, all right, there it is. It came <laughs> out. All right, we're here to play now. <laughs> nice. Um, just let yourself be you. Are you a hand talker? Uh, are you not? Do you smile so much that your eyes go away? Whatever it is, just do it. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. yeah. It's just not about being perfect. That's the farthest thing from it. It's about being relatable. Yes. So people can relate to people, flawed people. Um, who's made livings? Come on, doing things, uh, pointing out flaws like uh, Tyra Banks. Love that. Like she has this forehead, a big forehead. She calls it the four, five, six head. <laughs> I just think that's awesome. That's so and she cute. even made a whole thing about flossom. I'm just like, like full of flaws. And I'm like, that's just great. Because nobody's perfect. No one's perfect. And guys, I've said it before and I will say it again. No one knows what you're going to say before you say it. So the pressure you're putting is not necessarily from the world. It's all on you. So if you release that pressure, set down that bag yep. and just have a conversation. You know, this is a theme that keeps running, running consistently with all the, all the power tribe. It's all about a conversation. Katie says it, Jackie says it, Julie says it. Uh, Trish, it, Trisha has a conversation through her, her photos. Chris, has to have a conversation through video and guys through all of your content throughout all of your marketing it is all about a conversation because we're wanting to build no like and trust you're wanting engagement and you want to expand your reach so you know if you do the work and map things out be consistent with your calendar you can easily incorporate some different things into your routine yes indeed and i think um live video like i just started doing this just last week, of, I was prepping for a video session. I'm uh, sorry, photo session. I just turned the camera on and started prepping. I turned on the lights, put up the backgrounds, and it's like, hey, so what's happening, people? This is what I'm doing. Oh, I and love it, that. <laughs> and it was fun. I've got a lot of comments on that, people watching it. It's all I was doing was getting ready for a photo shoot. I mean, how boring is that? I think because I, don't I do think it. It's boring at all. I think it's absolutely fascinating. And see, it's stuff like that. And later today, I'm going to be working in my studio, putting things up. And since it's a new studio for me, so it's the, ooh, I get to change things. And <laughs> I get to put talkie butt hangers up on the, yes. on the wall. All right, let's see if anyone gets the, let's see, I'm going to put them in the right order here. If anyone gets the, the photography thing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, so anybody get the photography pun I'm putting on here? You better tell the punny. Red, green, or sorry, ah, there we go. Red, green, blue. Cayenne. RG, no, RGB. Yeah, you're red, RGB. green, blue. RGB. RGB, red, green, blue. <laughs> You're so punny, Chris. I very, very so punny. <laughs> so, yeah, this stuff I'm doing today and talking, to, I might just turn the camera on and be like, hey, all right, so let's talk about this, that, or the other while I put up my doggy butts and. <laughs> whatever else I'm doing today, you know, just fun stuff. So um, how can, how can our people in social power program get more info from you? Like what is the best way for them to, um, get more Chris? Facebook is more daily stuff. I have of course, um, nice posts that I'm putting out, but then I'll put stuff on my personal page too. And so business page, personal page, Instagram is another fun one for me. Yes. I do the others, but I really keep up with Facebook and Instagram, to be honest. Um, and so whichever, I'm sorry. And you ahead. have, you mentioned that you had some tips that you were going to share as well. Yes. Some tips, things like, well, number one. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want you to share them. Okay. I would rather power pride, tribe people opt-in Chris is going to be sharing an opt-in for you guys exclusive for social power program people 
on the Facebook page for our accountability. Um, I'm going to share, once the video is up, uh, Chris is going to share some questions for you I'd love for you to engage with. And I would love for you to opt in to get her tips because okay. she is, she's got some really great information. So all you do is put in your email address and submit, and then your tips will be in, I think, video format. Yes, of course, video <laughs> format. I mean, come on. Surprise! <laughs> But um, you know what? I have yeah. to tell you guys, I've watched some tips that Chris has done in the past that she's loaded to Instagram and Facebook, and it's really powerful. Um, she really, yeah. truly shows her authentic self in those, um, which will give you some really great ideas on, on different creative ways you could be showcasing your story. And, um, you know, if you just need to get started and you want someone to guide you through it, Chris is the perfect fit for that. Um, download those tips for sure and watch that video because it's going to be, it's going to be valuable, my friends. Um, yes. So keep a look for that in the Facebook group. Answer her questions for sure, because guys, we got to be, we got to be vulnerable, vulnerable with ourselves in order to release the mind clutter that we have going on. I struggle with it all the time. I'm on video all the time. So Everything that I learned from Chris is helping me break through those barriers as it is. So do yeah. not think that you are alone because you are not. We no, all have many no, girls. Not. And everybody loves us anyway. You know what? You got your friends out here. Focus on them. You know, yeah. the bigger, what, a, what I hear years and years ago, big brights, big lights bring big bugs. So <laughs> the lighter, the brighter your light, the more bugs are going to come. Just don't pay attention to them because they're going to come. Eh, whatever. Get the mosquito, go away. <laughs> I love you, Chris. Thank you so much. I feel like time goes by so fast when we're having fun. Yes, indeed. So much fun. I love it. Okay, so I'll be throwing some questions out there because I have some questions. Yeah. I want to hear what people think. Yes, absolutely. Engage, okay. my friends, and try on video. Promise okay. it will be rewarding and successful. Absolutely. Let's be awesome. And yes. <laughs> cheers to your success. Bye. Bye.